the Transformers TCG is also revealing another form of character play. Um, it And I understand why they're doing this, because the rise of the Combiners, probably that the way that the booster packs are going to be done, is the character cards, all the character cards really up to this point, with a few rare exceptions, are these foldable character cards that they fold into here's robot mode here's alt mode and then you unfold here's combiner mode so because of that you want to have something that they keep that consistency of how the character cards are because then that way when the when the item is in a booster pack you can't mm -hmm. identify it very easily so because obviously if all the if some had that design some didn't you'd be able to feel the pack and go oh here's a foldable card in there so <laughs> yeah yeah so in order to keep that, they did something clever here, and they introduced triple changers. And it's really smart how they did it, where it's using the same gimmick of a foldable character card, but one side is the alt mode, one side is the other alt mode, and then you fold it together, and you got the robot mode. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. It's a very smart use mm -hmm. of, um, of this gimmick and how they, they're going to go about it. And we have Blitzwing right now, and we have Springer. Um, it means probably at some point we're going to see probably the rest. We'll see the f ever famous, most popular Astro Train, and uh, and and Sandstorm, and probably uh, Broadside. So definitely is something that's that's going to be coming probably down the pipes at some point or another. Another thing also to mention that they also announced, uh, literally of this recording, maybe about six hours ago, mm -hmm. uh, they just announced that you could also download on your iPhone or your your Android. Uh, the Transformers TCG companion app. And what that is essentially, it's it's a an app that will allow you to kind of make your own decks, test decks, see when you put your deck together, see how much damage it could do in different situations. Yeah. It also has a card gallery, which is really cool. So you could check out all the different cards and see what they do at any point, which is something that uh, Magic the Gathering doesn't even have, which I would always kind of wish if they had like some kind of archive. Not like, even the... Uh, the, the the, the video game that's out now kind of does that. Not no, even not even Arena. No. Wow. Um, the Magic fandom has picked up the slack, but yeah. Magic has never really done something like that. So it's really cool, and it's funny because this is also Wizard of the Coast. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. it's interesting that they're. Well, actually you know what? You know what this could be? Like it could be that they're testing it out on this. Oh, totally. And it's this a would be something. Like, okay, now we know how this works. We could just roll it out, and it'll be a lot easier for us to do it in the future. And what's I cool see too, it also has like again, you could you have uh, the rule. You could also look up the rules and stuff. So you also have. It's cool that they're they're rolling something stuff because again, as, as a lifelong uh, trading card game player and collectible card game player, um, this is something of now you know with our iPhone generation of people how mm -hmm. we could have that kind of symbiosis of stuff. And Magic has been kind of slow to that, which is weird because it's the godfather of CCGs and TCG. Yeah. So they've been slow to that. And Yu-Gi-Oh! even, uh, they have their own app for playing the game, but they don't have something similar to this. So it's cool to have something that has the rules, able to bi d build decks and test stuff out, card gallery. But I think that the main reason why Transformers has this and the others don't is they've been around so long, the other ones, that to make a card gallery, oh man, it, that's, a, oh, that's a lot of cards to scan. The average, if they're not if they're not already like on a well, computer file somewhere kind of thing. Well, the average Magic set, all the way back to Alpha, is average three hundred cards, and there's been how many expansions since then? Like yeah. sixty. So it's, <laughs> someone's going to get paid for for quite a while if he'd have to do that. And same thing with Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh's been around forever too. So it's um it's something that it's. This is really cool that they're doing it, and I've already downloaded the app and, and already took it for a test drive, and it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty good stuff. So definitely check it out if you are a player of the TCG because it's a pretty useful thing to have, uh, especially as the game evolves and when Rise of the Combiners really becomes a thing. They'll mm -hmm. probably implicate that all into it too, and it'll help you really like you know make an interesting combo in a deck. Yeah, Central app is always good, and they can just update it really, really easily. 